Hi, I'm Mark Gifford, Director of Product Marketing for Low Brass for Con Somer Incorporated. And I'm here today to talk to you about your new trombone. This is a King 606 trombone manufactured in East Lake, Ohio, and I'm going to show you how to take it out of the box and take it out of the case for the first time. So, first of all, you'll need to take your case, lay it on a flat surface, preferably a table or the floor. Make sure that when you lay it down, that you lay it down with the label facing up. And you can unlatch the three latches on the case and then open the case up so that it opens up completely flat on the table or on the floor. So next you want to go and look in this compartment. This is the compartment which contains slide oil and your mouthpiece. And you can go ahead and take the mouthpiece out of the plastic. You can discard the plastic. This is your warranty card. You can set that aside. Your first step is to take the hand slide out of the compartment. You need to unsnap. You can open up this flap which holds the slide in place. And when you go to remove the hand slide, grab it on each end. Do not grab it in the middle. These slide tubes are long and they're very easily to, to bent. So you don't want to grab it here or anywhere along this long length of tubing. Well, it's best to grab it at the top and the bottom of the hand slide and pull it out of the case. Now you'll notice that this on the slide, this is a little foam donut that we put in place to keep the locking, uh, the locking nut from sliding around and scratching up the surface of the instrument. Ah, one thing I forgot to mention, as you take the slide out of the case, make sure that the slide lock is engaged. If it's not, the slide will move around and you don't want the slide to fall on the floor. So just make sure when you pull the slide out of the case that this slide lock is engaged so that the, the, the outer slide will not fall. Uh, now that you have the slide out of the case, you can remove the foam donut simply by rolling it off. And you can discard this or better yet, find another use for it, recycle it, reuse it. Now the next step is to make the connection between the bell section and the hand slide section. That happens. There's a tapered piece right here and the tapered piece on the bell section that's right here. You fit those two sections together just with a gentle twist. You don't want to, you don't want to really force it because that's a, you, you might get them stuck together. Just a gentle twist so that they will stay in place. And then this locking or this uh, screw ring, you want to thread onto the receiver on the bell section and just screw and thread it on and just give it a gentle twist so that it's tight. Now you'll notice that the orientation of the slide to the bell section is roughly at a 90 degree angle. You can adjust that slightly by moving the slide and the bell section one way or the other, but generally speaking it's a 90 degree angle for that connection. Now at this point you're ready to put the mouthpiece in. The mouthpiece goes into the hand slide and again, just a gentle twist. You don't want to hit or put any kind of real twist or, or force on it. Otherwise, the mouthpiece may get stuck. Just a gentle twist is all you need. At this point, you can disengage the slide lock. So that your slide moves freely. And now you're ready to play. This is Mark Gifford, Director of Product Marketing for Low Brass for Con Selmer Incorporated. I've been talking to you about the King 606 trombone manufactured in East Lake, Ohio, and how to take it out of the case.